The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Just a short time ago, the Buccaneers emerging from their tunnel to the roar of this frenzied crowd here in the Sunshine State. And we're in the big ship, and fittingly, everyone here ready to do battle as Tampa Bay gets ready to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track and it cost him. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. On second and nine, Stafford. That's out to the flat for Akers. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And that'll lead here to a third down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. take a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. This is taken around the 12. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. For Brady and the Buccaneers here, first and 10, just shy of the 30. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. Wait, that's why 20. 
First and ten, here's Brady. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. It was Vaughn Miller who shot in there to get him down. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. First and ten. The throwing now is Brady. That's out to his running back, Fournette. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down field incomplete. Well, when you've got a tight end who can run, you've got to give him a shot to unlock the defense. Want to see what they can get? Taking the big shot downfield. That one winds up incomplete. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. Yeah, he'll be on just a yard or two shy of the 30. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Flushed out right. The ball comes out. And this will get out of bounds right at the line of scrimmage. So fortunately, they're able to hold on to the possession. You can almost see inside his face mask there the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. Another try after the first down sack. Brady going to air it out deep for Gronkowski. And that ball incomplete. He couldn't work free from his defender, and now it's third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Everyone, Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Hey, they scared. They scared. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Watch the slant. Watch sugar, sugar. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. Kill. Old 50. He's coming. He's coming. Throwing his Brady on third down. And this is caught by Evans. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Line of scrimmage to 15. It's first and 10. We got chips over here. Chips over here. That's overload. Overload. Hey, hey. Uh, quick throw caught by Godwin. Three yards the game there, second down. The goal of the wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there? Swarming to it and not allowing that to happen. Did not let him get downfield. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Leonard Fournette. Five-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs have taken a first quarter lead. Extra point put through by Sucker. And it's now a 7-0 game. Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. On the 
return is Brandon Powell. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt, they're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. to get a couple second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And that will fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's the big deal. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now it's Stafford. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And he returns it to the end zone. And a final recovery touchdown for the Bucs. Huge, huge play by the defense, not only to force the fumble, obviously, but to return it for a touchdown. And I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense, but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home? I always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often. No, they're not choreographed very well, usually. <laughs> Here's Powell on the return. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. It's their third drive now, and so far we've seen a punt in that second drive CD. They turned the ball over, so not the start that they were envisioning. Yeah, they've been ineffective so far, but look, they've worked on a game plan all week long. Don't get away from it too soon. Find a way to get some significant gains, loosen up, get going, and then they should be okay the rest of the way. Now a first down throw, Stafford. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 16 yards there. Two straight plays of 16 yards and another first down. Now Stafford. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak, and while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close, but the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. Second and ten. Stafford. That's caught left side. It's Higby, the tight end. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks' 13-yard line. Got. 
from the shotgun. Here's a give to Akers. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Stafford. Eluding the pressure right. Trying to find Cup, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. He's at the 50. The 30. That's 10, what it is, baby. Five. That's what it is. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house from Bucket or TD. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. Extra point up and good by Sucka, and that makes the score 21 to zip. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And what could he possibly be thinking? He just took the fair catch at the one-yard line. Major mistake. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And following the pick six, and they decent field position and throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back in. Yeah, they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. They snap it to Stafford. To the sideline, and he's got it. They say the feet are down. Yes, the line judge says they're in. That'll be a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Slap, slap, slap. Out of the gun, Stafford. He'll check this down to Akers out of the backfield. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Stafford looks to throw again. He completes it to Beckham. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come back and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And that's going to be incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. To throw once more on second and ten. Stafford, he's going to look for Beckham in the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by the veteran Richard Sherman. And the Bucs are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 29. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. So the first thing that crossed my mind is why didn't they just sit on the lead and take it to the locker room? They're in good shape. Absolutely. And from this spot on the field, now you've given the other side a chance for points here going into intermission. Yeah, you changed the momentum of the game, and it's something you did not need to do. Well, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. That is 
is incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. On Stafford for the third time, he's intercepted. Picked up by Levante David. And the Buccaneers are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. It was the linebacker, Leonard Floyd, on the stop. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Coach. Thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Bucks with the lead. And they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And this will not be returned. So the second half begins with a touchback. offense set to begin their next possession and the first half definitely went their way and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here yeah and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the football that could be the decisive blow in this game i think that's how they're eyeing it that's how they're approaching it into a double team and it's intercepted Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. Well, dare I say it, it's kind of quid pro quo. Both defenses now with an interception return for a touchdown. Your vocabulary, sir. Well done. Matt Gay on for the extra point. <laughs> It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21 to 7. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Now Brady to try again after the pick six. This one complete to Giovanni Bernard. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Now first down, they look downfield, and it's complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. down Brady he finds his target it's Evans and he'll go out of bounds right around the 40 five yards on the catch there brings up second down inside four minutes to go third quarter throw again and this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it Gronkowski the intended target third down here looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play and uh, who am I to say this but I'm not sure he made the right decision well the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL 
That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Open man has got one. It's complete. And he's going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. down is Brady looking for the end zone toward the back corner of the end zone but he could not get the feet down this will wind up incomplete similar to a shooter in basketball just connected on the previous shot they run another set for him on the next play now we had a guy who made the catch they try to get the big one downfield but came up empty To throw on second and ten. Brady. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in ten, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks. But you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. Watch safety creep. Watch safety creeping. Safety's From the gun on third down, Brady. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover. They're in the end zone. So Brady departs, and on it's Ryan Suckup for the Buccaneer field goal. Spotted at the left hash, this from 45. And Suckup will put this one right through. And they will open things up a bit more. It's 24 to 7. And right now, Charles, you know, this is about building that lead little by little. And they're able to do just that. And it gets them past the key number of 16. So this is now a three score lead. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And he returns it to the end zone. A fumble recovery touchdown. But that's got to be so disappointing for a defense. You, know, you force the fumble, think you got a chance at a turnover, and instead, not only do you give up the football, you also give up a touchdown as well. Yeah, you just think to yourself, you've done all the hard work, right? You force the fumble, but when they didn't come up with it, I think they relaxed a little bit, or maybe lost their focus as well, and it ended up turning out to be a touchdown against them. Extra point put through by Suckham, and the lead is now 24. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Oh, the return is Powell. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Set, Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively. They'll try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit, because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. They just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? They'll let it go deep for Becker. And this is going to fall to the ground incomplete. That very nearly their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. The second and ten now as we roll along in the third quarter from Tampa. There's Stafford. He'll get this one to Cuff complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and ten at the 49-yard line. Over the middle a diving catch. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And just a yard to go here on second down. Throwing to Stafford. Escaping the pressure right. He's got Higby complete right side. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 26. 59! Again, it's Stafford. He'll dump this off to Akers. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. 
That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Flush to his right. He finds his target, Beckham. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a play fake it at Stafford. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Carlton Davis picks it. And the
It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Bill Stadium in upstate New York. A few moments ago, to the delight of this Buffalo crowd, it was the Bills racing out of the tunnel as they get set to match up with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. end zone Isaiah McKenzie and no run back on the opening kickoff it'll come out to the 25 something they feel good and once that's completed then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates that's caught by his tight end Dawson Knox and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down back to back good plays have him on the move on first down here's Allen to throw it Working the middle here, that's complete to Knox, the tight end. Another 13 yards there, twice in a row, and they're on the move. Another first down as well. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going... He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Stokes. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. Offensively, a far from ideal start there with a pick on the opening drive. Yeah, not exactly what they were looking for. We know that. That's pretty obvious. The beauty, though, is it's happening early. If they don't panic, they don't compound this problem, they've got a long way to go and a chance to get back in it. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, second down. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make the play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And they will finally run him down, but not until he brings us with all the way back down inside the 10 yard line. Well, certainly not how he wanted to start his night. First throw of the game, an INT. Yeah, it's not easy, but he's got to try to wipe that one away from the memory banks. And let's face it, it's not often a quarterback and a defensive back have a lot in common. But one thing, because they have these individual type plays, they've got to have short memories, don't they? DB gets beat, wipe it away, quarterback throws a pick, has to do the same thing. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Half, 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 half. Hey, you're on an island over there. Single receiver. From the gun, it's Allen. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds, right at the three. They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. Mike 5-9, Mike. Yeah, let's get 
Singletary. They'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Bills have taken the early lead. Support by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. ready to get their next drive underway. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. But they're hoping is that... And got his man complete! Touchdown, Packers! Marquez Valdez-Scantling. 75 yards. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. come to the line to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. One play has them up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Flushed out right. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. But he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Rush in, rush in, rush in. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen being chased out left. Now bounds right around the 20. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave them with second and a yard. Singletary here running out of the gun. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And this one caught by Beasley. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Seven seven, our score after one. Good. 
And the Bills have taken the lead. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. ready to get their next drive underway. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last true. time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense. Not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. To throw, it's Rodgers. And his pass incomplete. A great job defensively taking away his receivers. And he was forced to put that one in the Lake Erie, but that's what good quarterbacks do. They don't take unnecessary chances if they don't have to. They'll try and run for the Jones. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. We ought to come up with a t-shirt and sell it that says no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Get his shoulder square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. On first down, Rodgers. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Here's Rodgers to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. It's caught inside the 25. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. They go back to the ground with Jones. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. To throw is Rodgers. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Jones. Halfway home from the four down to the two yard line. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here. This close, sneak it. I think even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. Ready to go for their next drive. 
Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf, dude. That's bottom shelf material. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. It's complete to Diggs. Even with the nice move, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. From the 29, Allen. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. Certainly feels like the classic second guess, but let's be honest about it. They had a chance going to halftime with the lead. Why did they take a chance with a throw there? I don't understand that. Well, that's what I'm wondering. And now this defense has to try to protect that lead going into the locker room. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. Steps away to his left. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Partner, this is almost an unwinnable spot for a defense. They have to come right out for a first and goal trying to stop him. But let me hold on a second. Let me take that back real quick. They can win here if they force a field goal try. Still a long ways away from that happening, but that has to be what they're thinking right now. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. On second down now, it's Jones, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. I think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. The struggles finding open receivers continue. I don't know the last time I saw him this inconsistent during the football. It would be hard to find a date when he was this inconsistent. You know, in his locker, he keeps the word poise printed on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. He needs to find that poise right now. He certainly does. In fact, I would suggest... He... And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. There we go is a loss of three on the sack, and it brings up third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Escaping the pressure right. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So first and ten now in Buffalo territory at the 47. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the shotgun, again with Jones. 
Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Going for it all. Got him in. Oh, and it's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Adams, 26 yards. And once again, the Packers, they're back out in front. Crosby connects on the extra point. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. McKenzie will now return this, and it'll be brought out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent still the same in what they plan to do on offense. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And it'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Play action. Now it's Allen. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Allen off the play fake. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And they move this all the way down to the nine. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. On second and goal, Allen. Taken in by Beasley. Touchdown, Buffalo. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Bills have once again taken the lead. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And it's now 17-14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Turn on this one as the fair catch is signal four and take it. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They had gotten the lead with the opening drive touchdown in the third quarter. Now they relinquish that lead back. Could be in for an interesting second half. It certainly appears that way, doesn't it? Almost turning into one of those pendulum games, right? Where it swings back and forth, and who's going to make the play that changes that? That maybe it puts it on one side and keeps it there. Hey, check Mike 21. Mike 21. Check Mike 21. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Flush to his right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Five yards, now it's third and five. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So both teams trade touchdowns.
points in the third as we're through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play, given maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Rodgers now to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Got a man open. It's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Adams. His second touchdown of the night. And the Packers have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Crosby with the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. McKenzie now from his end zone. And he is out of bounds here on the return. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now the Georgia Southern man. It's Matt Breida. And that's a nice pickup on the first down. On that second down win. And in that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Middle, 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 middle. On play action, Allen. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Buying time to his left. And this is caught on the sideline. Are the feet in? They are. What a catch. A big game there for the Bills. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them the lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth-quarter lead. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. you reset and they're knocking on the door second and goal now in a one score game
The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Rodgers to throw. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. A good hands there defensively. And second down. Well, you know they're going to look his way in the two-minute drill, but that time he was blanketed, and they forced the incompletion. May need some teammates to step up in this spot. He's going to let it fly. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A big play that time through the air. 31 yards. Back to throw. Rodgers. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely running flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. Not able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. The Packers are going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now Rodgers. Flushed out right. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, now we're in a situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his head. Got to totally command him. Make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. And that is incomplete. That means there's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown. But this game's over. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll run it with Jones. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Now a first and 10 at the 11. This is Jones. He's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Second and one from the two. Look at this, a tight end carry. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. Now Crosby for the point after. And that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. McKenzie now from his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25 yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. One possession game. <laughs> Time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. And it is incomplete. 
Well, he had a defender running right with him. And now it's third down. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Allen. And he's got his man here, Beasley. And he'll have a first down as he's able to work his way out of bounds with 14 seconds remaining. in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity. Just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance. 